Guys, coach, love one comment. Raise your hands. Keep them up for a second. Let me get you. This week of practice, it was good to get outside today. Uh, the weather's kept us in two days in a row. Uh, obviously, need that work, especially in the kicking game. And um, I think it's good to you know play in the conditions that you're going to play in. Uh, one of the things that we've been trying to get our players to sort of grasp is um, if you respect your talent, that's in anything uh, that you do, uh, then you have an obligation to yourself to work to be the best that you can be. Um, that's what creates, you know, positive consequences for you. Uh, anything short of that, you know, you're really facing a lot of regret, uh, not only in football but also in life. Um, so, you know, this is something that I think every individual should be, you know, very interested in doing. Uh, we're looking forward to, you know, a great home game, great atmosphere this week. Um, they're going to try to go fast. They're going to try to go no huddle. Uh, I think noise is could be disrupting to them. I'd like to see our fans, you know, get into this game a little bit um, and, you know, help our team out a little bit. Um, you know, we're, we're taking part in the extra yards for teachers, you know, this week along with the college football playoff. Um, I don't know how you feel about teachers, but I have a tremendous amount of respect for teachers, what they do to help people develop, grow. Um, I know I could tell you my First grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. I can tell you every teacher I ever had, you know, when I was a kid growing up. I, because they all had some kind of significant impact on, you know, my development as a person. And I certainly have an appreciation for the time they invested in me that, you know, helped me graduate from college. And I have an opportunity to um, do what I love to do. So um, we don't have any new injuries to report. Um, and, you know, we're trying to get ready to improve and play a better game this week. Okay. Start here with Ben. Um, I'm kind of curious. In the NFL, people talk about franchise quarterbacks that they know are going to be around for a while and, and build around them. In college, when you know you're going to have a quarterback or expect to have him for a few years, can you bring players in that fit what he does, or is there not really enough time to do it? Well, I, I think, you know, my philosophy in recruiting is, is you recruit the best possible players that you can. Um, you know, at every position, and try to focus on what a player can do, not what he can't do. Um, and if that guy has special talents in some area, I think those things are going to be beneficial to our team and his contribution to the team in the future. So uh, once you get those guys, you sort of do what they can do. Um, and, you know, you can go through all the quarterbacks that we've had since we've been here, and uh, if you just take the last three years, they're all relatively different. Uh, but we had to build what we had around them based on what they could do. Uh, but they all had good enough talent in what they could do that we, we had pretty productive offense and scored a lot of points. Um, so we've done the same thing with Jalen, and hopefully he'll continue to improve in some of the areas that uh, will help him be more complete, uh, but also we'll, we'll continue to take advantage of the things that he does well. In the middle here with Michael. What you thought of Raquan Davis uh, in the two weeks since he's come back uh, from his recent injury, uh, what he's done? Well, I, I think Raquan is, you know, a guy that it's really important to him to be a good player. He works really hard. He gives great effort. Um, like all young players, I think that, um, you know, they don't realize all the time the importance of paying attention to detail, understanding the situation, uh, not just going 100 miles an hour, but you know, playing a draw set or playing a screen set, you know, a little bit different. Uh, I think those are the things that good players learn how to do and play fast and play hard and be aggressive, but they still recognize things quickly. And uh, I think that's the that's that's the key to developing young players. And I think in Raekwon's case, as well as all the other young players that we have playing on our team, that's what knowledge and experience does for you. And Hopefully, as he gets that, he'll continue to even improve and play better. But we've been pleased with his performance to this point. We'll come back to the right, Charlie. J.K. Scott said that he sits down before every season and kind of writes down and plans out what he's going to do every week. How have you seen his preparation kind of translate to his consistency on the field? 
Well, I think it's important that, uh, you know, you've heard me say this a hundred times before, I used to make the specialists be like everybody else on the team. Um, but I don't think they really are. Uh, I think they're training to do something a little bit different, something that they're going to have to do four, five, six times in a game, not 70 times in a game, like a, a defensive tackle or a cornerback or a quarterback or a wide receiver. Um, so I think that takes a little different type of training. Uh, and I think that um, every guy has got to develop confidence in his training. So if a guy believes in his routine, he believes in um, the things that he does throughout the course of the week that's going to help him psychologically and physically be able to deliver uh, the five or six times that he's got to deliver on Saturday, uh, then we're very supportive of a guy doing that. And J.K. is, a, I mean, a tireless worker, you know, really important to him to do well. So uh, if we have any issue with him in terms of his routine, it's that to make sure that he doesn't do too much. Uh, and that he stays in his routine and um, can maintain a level of consistency because of it. Come back up front here on the right with Mark. I know you said no new injuries, but will Lester Cotton be able to play on Saturday? And if not, what's the, the play in place uh, to replace him? Well, he practiced today. So, you know, most of the time when guys practiced yesterday, he practiced today. So most of the time when guys practice, they're able to play. So we, we have every thought that he would play in the game. Right up front here with Kirk. Did you have one, Kirk? Uh, Coach, we've heard the term about teams playing to win or teams playing not to lose. Do you buy into that at all? And so how does it play out? Have you ever seen it? And when you're preparing, does that have anything to do? Do you ever prepare like to win more than not to lose? Or well, what, what we prepare for is for every guy to play to the best of his ability and to dominate the competition and dominate his box. All right, so if we can get everybody on our team to do that, I can live with the result. Um, so I know how important it is for everybody out there externally for us to win the game. Uh, but for me as a coach, if we can get every pair of player, player to play at a very high standard and a high level in terms of his effort, his toughness, his discipline to execute, uh, we'll get the result that we want. And that's what we try to stay focused on. Now, I have seen players get in, um, take the psychological disposition where uh, they get in situations, that's why you say there's no scoreboard. Uh, that all of a sudden you get ahead or behind in a game and you let that affect how you play one way or the other. Um, so we, 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 we want to be aggressive at all times. We want to try to dominate our box. Uh, there's certain situations in the game where you need to play smart um, so that you can win the game, whether it's take the air out of the ball and make first downs on offense so the other team doesn't get another chance to score or whether you got to stop them in two minutes on defense. So, um, you know, I, I know that we all play to win, right? but what we focus on here is what do you have to do to win? Let's focus on those things. What do you have to do to dominate, to be the best player you can be? So um, it's a little different disposition. And like all folks out there, I know how result-oriented everybody is, but uh, our success usually comes from following the process and people following the process so that they have a better chance to put themselves in a position to get a positive consequence. Last two. <coughs> Uh, just Jacobs, he's been out of practice. Uh, we've seen him doing stuff, expecting to play this week. Um, I don't know. He's been practicing. Okay. And uh, lastly, we've seen you know, a lot of the freshman wide receivers have been grouped together on the field. Is there any reason for that? What do you kind of hope out of those kind of packages? Well, it's not really a package. It's just trying to play guys, trying to get them experienced. And, um, you know, so we. we those guys are capable of playing and doing a job, um, but it just helps our other guys rest. And there, there's no real plan that those three guys are playing in a package and we do anything different when they're in the game or anything like that. So, last one here, with Mark. I know you said Saturday after the game that the plan was to play two at some point in the first half. Is that still the same plan this week, or how do you plan to match up? We haven't decided how we're going to play the guys, so I wouldn't tell you if I did. So, you know, 
I don't mind you asking a question, but I don't need to answer it. But I will call Colorado State and tell them exactly what we want to do as soon as I get out of here. I know Mike Bobo, you know, his dad lives up by my house at Lake Raven, so I'll just call them up and tell them who we're playing, when, how long, when we're putting them in, tell them the whole thing. All right? Is that all right with you? That's great. So you can call him and find out. All right, see you all. Thanks, Coach. Laser beam your ass to this. <laughs> <laughs>